they're off. A race away then for the William Hill King George. 18 fences to jump and three miles in front of them. It's a third appearance in the race for Q Card, who nosebounded the blue jacket in company with last year's winner, Silviniano Conti, are the leaders as they come down to number one. The three greys are behind him. Off to the right, there is Champagne Fever. Looks as like if he's close up and almost uh, jumps through to second place there. Heading down to number two, which is a ditch, Minora. He is holding now fourth place from Alpharoff and Dinast. And then as they jump the open ditch, John Spirit is in company with Wishful Thinking. Three off the rail is Double Ross in the red and white jacket. And the nose-bounded Wonderful Charm is around the outside of those as they turn right-handed for the first time to make their way into the back straight, where the blue of Cucard and the pink of Silviniago Conti are the leaders. Last year's first and second and last year's winner, Silviniago Conti has gone through to lead. Champagne Fever is the first of the greys, almost taking second position as they come through fence number three. Alpharoff, Dinast and Menorah were next. And then comes John Spirit from Wonderful Charm. And then comes Double Ross. And Wishful Thinking is the back marker as they jump four, heading now to the first of the open ditches. No feeling. Silviniano so Conti continues to be the leader by a length and a half. This afternoon, second favourite, Champagne Fever's moved through into second place with a big leap there. They were all say favourite, and Cucard is a length and a half, maybe two behind those in third place. Dinas comes next, just ahead of Minora with Alfarov, a uh, third of the greys in the lineup. All safe over that one. Alfarov was uh, about a length and a half ahead of Double Ross and Wonderful Charm together. John Spirit is a length and a half behind those, and Wishful Thinking is the back marker. On their way then to the home term for the first time. Currently, be 15 odd lengths first to last. And it is Silviniaco Conti who continues to have the advantage. Champagne Fever. Uh, Travelling strongly, taking a good hold in the early part of the race for Ruby Walsh as they move on to fence number seven. Q card was over it in third place, and then comes Dinast, uh, followed through by Minora, and then the yellow, white, and red jacket of Alfarov. The red and white of Double Ross is next as they jump the middle one in the straights, and Q card belted it, got away with it, but just surrenders third place to Dinast. And they run on now to the last in the straight. Just a little detached from the others is wishful thinking. Silviniani Conti is over that one safely by about uh, a length or so with one circuit to go. He leads Champagne Fever. Cucard, Dinast and Menorah in line. Alpha of a length and a half behind those in Double Ross and behind these comes a wonderful charm and John Spirit and there's a seven, eight length gap to wishful thinking at the rear of the field. So it is Silviniaco Conti who continues to have the advantage. He's led for almost uh, the first circuit. Took it up after a couple of fences. Champagne Fever running in second place. They run away from us on the wards. 10, which is a plain one, and then 11. Cucar, Dinast, and Menorah are in third, fourth, and fifth places. And then Alfarov and Double Ross as they jump this plain one. From Wonderful Charm, John Spirit and Wishful Thinking. He's always been a few lengths behind the others for the last uh, mile or so. Big leap in front of that open ditch from Silviniaco Conti. Touchdown in front by around about two lengths and they turn into the back straight. Seven more to jump now in the William Hill King George. Champagne Fever continues to travel powerfully in second place. He's on by about two lengths to the nose-banded Q card. Um, Dinas together in third and fourth places. Alfarov and Menorah the next two. Then John Spirit moving ahead of Double Ross. Wonderful charm is behind this as they head down the back straight. And as they move on to this next plane fence and pulled up is wishful thinking. Silviniaco Conti was up and over that safely, still stalking him. Is Champagne Fever, six to jump now. Cucard is in behind them and then comes Dinas. John Spirit is trying to get closer. Menorah behind those. Over the next fence, all over that's okay. Silviniaco Conti continues to lead by about two lengths to Champagne Fever. Here's the last of the open ditches. Dinas and Cucard behind those. And then comes Alfarov. They're all jumping it okay. John Spirit, Menorah behind those from Wonderful Charm. And then Double Ross. This is the last over the far side. 
Silviniaco Conti uh, got into it a little close and Menorah a really bad error back in the field but he stays in the race Silviniaco Conti though is on the way to home he's got plenty breathing down his neck though in second place is Champagne Fever cue card on the rails Dinast Alfarov John Spirit still going okay any one of this sextet could win the William Hill King George as they come into the home straight now they have less uh, than a half mile to go Three to jump. Silviniaco Conti continues to be the one to catch. Last year's winner at the third last. Good leap over it. Uh, John Spirit belted it in sixth place. Champagne Fever being ridden along. Dillast and Cucard the next couple. Heading down towards two out. Silviniaco Conti. Noel Feely now. Asks him for more and here he goes. He leads by three lengths. In second place is Champagne Fever who appears to be one pace. Dillast and Cucard the next two. Silviniaco Conti is heading towards the final fence. The 18th and last fence. He's up and over safely. Dinast is chasing him and trying to close him down. Champagne fever behind that. But it's Silviniaco Conti becomes the 14th Joel winner of the race. He wins it well. Dinast in second place. Alpha Alvarez grabbed third place near the line from Champagne fever. First, number eight, Silviniaco Conti. Second, number five. Third, number one.